All right, after the test drive, we're here, ready to check the damage, see what's been going on. There's a huge big leak coming out here. Jet unit's all twisted. So I'm gonna take it apart and see what I can do to fix it. So there's water in there, so it's getting past the seal or it's getting past here. So I don't like that. Impeller's been scraping a bit. Okay, I've got the impeller out as well, and I'm just going to clean it all up, take a bit away some of the bad welding, clean the edges up, make it a bit more flowing. I think I know where the leak is. See there, when I was trying to straighten the jet unit, I banged it with a hammer, and I put a bit of a dent there. I'm guessing it was squirting out the side. I'll have a look at the footage again. All right, I've pulled the motor out of it, the two-stroke motor, and I've got this other motor here I can try. It's a little four-stroke one that's like been underwater heaps of times and got pulled out of the scrap bin got this for free this motor they're both uh, pretty light but let's see mm. Mm. two stroke heft mare mm. so the two stroke here is pretty light but once you start adding the pieces it needs to go exhaust pipe battery because I can't start it, and fuel tank, it ends up the same weight as this one. The only need, the only difference is the power. But you can work these motors and apparently get up to 20 horsepower, which I find a bit far-fetched. Okay, so I've made this coupling fit the motor. It's just got Allen keys that are gonna go through into the keyway slot. I've just made this engine mount plate out of 4mm thick aluminium to weld to the bottom of the boat so I can bolt the engine to it. All right, the motor's mounted up in there now. Uh, I've run my exhaust through the transom. And I've just put a rubber radiator pipe on here. I hope it doesn't melt. Might bend it down or something. The steering's all hooked up. I changed the leverage on the steering. So I've got three holes there so I can change. So now you move the stick a lot further to get the same steering angle. Got the throttle up here, off button here. And the best thing about this motor just starts super easy. I mean, it's super vibrating right now, but uh, once it's in the water, it should be all right. Well, guys, you're never going to believe what happened. Wheels happened. Oh, yeah. Got these wheels off my old compressor and I uh, made some brackets up. So now I've just got to try and figure out how to hold them down because it's a bit hard to move around. You can carry it, but after, you know, 10 metres or so, it gets pretty old carrying a motor, jet unit and boat. So I've got these little wheels. I'm going to try and maybe fold them up like that. Or perhaps they could go right around like this, maybe. Oh, look at that weld. Mm. I'll try and figure that out. All right, we're just about ready to head out. Made a paddle, so I've got to use that this time. Got a little seat set up. Wheels are working, I just made a little, I just threaded a bolt through into here. Pretty rough, but it'll work for now. And I made it so I can just hook up two of the holes instead of all three. So I might try it like this, but I'll most likely try it with all three hooked up because it's more floaty. Also, here's the intake grate for those, for those who are interested. I've got a little fin in here to help scoop the water in. That's actually pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah.
shallow here, <laughs> like yeah. ankle deep. What's up? See how it starts clearing up and you can stop seeing ripples? Important mission, try and find a different river. Yeah. It's really shallow for miles. deeper would have been perfect but not quite Gonna do is have a cool start, cool here. Oh, yeah. Cruising along, all right, mate. Hey, cruising along, all right. Pretty slow. Yeah, it's nice to drive, though. Yeah, it feels safe, you know, like it's like sturdy. Struggling. Well, guys, real loud and real slow. So, I don't know. Need to change something on it. Down. I'm sick of that noise. <laughs> That's horrible, man. Loud, eh? Yeah. It's actually easier to assemble in the water, eh? You can see a bit of spray and back eh, where it's not all going out the nozzle. Yeah. I think you can get more uh, power out of a tighter nozzle as well. Oh well, let's go. Sweet. <laughs> Should we try it again? Holy moly. Alright, so he's convinced we're gonna try it again quick. Without the gun jump, jump, jump in jumping it from jumping. here and just go. <laughs> I'll give you a good five bucks if you do that.
It's lucky the boat wasn't facing up the river. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just see ya. I don't know what happened there, but it's clear now. Yeah, better, right. Right. definitely better, but yeah. So if I just put a sprocket straight there, and then put the motor over here, with the sprocket, and then I can just change sprockets until it's like the right speed. Well, guys, semi-successful run. Wouldn't get on the plane. Uh, the motor, it's like it ran out of gearing, eh? It just revved out. Yeah, it's just nothing home. Yeah, so what we might have to do is put a chain and sprocket so we can gear up the jet drive, get more pressure out of it, and maybe a newer motor, because as, as you can hear on that one, it was spluttering and carrying on. It's, it's just done its, it's done its dash, that motor, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, guys, thanks for watching. See you all next time.